What is going on, Eye of Warriors? Uh, this is Edward back with another video where the Liver King has admitted that he is back on performance enhancing drugs. He's back on PEDs. And apparently, in a video where he is addressing Moist Critical and I guess to a lesser extent, Greg Doucette, um, he is talking about the criticism that he is receiving from Moist Critical critical uh that is a never i never noticed that that name has the word crit like that connection just happened in my mind but yeah he's he's addressing the criticism saying he's been uh off of um all peds for 222 days and now he is he well now he's back on it um he said he didn't like that he was losing his uh muscle or strength he, not so much as muscle but he didn't like that he was losing his strength he showed a before and after picture that showed that he was leaner even though the angle of the camera was different but he's stating that that is proof of him being leaner than he was before he was taking uh, performance enhancing drugs now he he stated that he's not taking as many peds as he did before but um you know, it's just a matter of time or and or he is probably still taking as many as he did before. He just doesn't want to uh, say that he is. Um, he addressed a few things where he said that he never felt that he wanted anyone to look like he does. He said that his whole thing was to be the best you, uh, but and to live a life of with the ancestral tenants or what what whatever he calls that um and that he himself never wanted anyone to look like himself it was simply the lifestyle change that would help people um i find it to be interesting that he is on peds and never made a an official video announcement about it what he did do is he put it tucked away on his website if you scroll down what so many you know pages or whatever you'll see that he put in a little kind of section that he's back on uh performance enhancing drugs that's a little bit of a cop out to me i think he put put it there almost like uh as a safe space where he could just go, Hey, if anyone ever calls me out on it, because I'm getting, I'm, I got to get back on this thing. I'll be able to point to it. Will I have a video saying that I'm back on it? No, but I'll be able to point to it. So that way I could appear to be, you know, transparent. But I think that it was strategically done that way, because if you announce that you're no longer going on uh, PEDs on video in a massive video that, you know, basically went viral, you should also announce that you're going back on PEDs. The, the thing that people like the Liver King have to understand is that people do look up to you to the extent that they want to look like you, that they want to do the things that you're doing, that they want to follow the things that you're doing. If you are pretending that only you're only doing this thing over here, it can be very disheartening if you're doing this thing and this thing and that thing with this thing and that thing also being performance enhancing drugs. So people will follow you and want to also look like you, even if you don't have to explicitly say it. You don't have to tell someone, look like me. It doesn't have to come from your mouth, but why do you think so many people do follow you? Not all of them just follow you for the lifestyle. A lot of them are envious of the way that you look, and they themselves want to look like that. So he needs to be cognizant of that he needs to be aware that people feel that way you can't just think that you're controlling everything that is happening simply from the words that are coming out of your mouth you also have to be aware of how people perceive their what they want to do because of watching you and i and i know that he's smarter than thinking that oh no one's thinking that everyone is trying to just live the lifestyle i know that he's smarter than that um him being back on performance enhancing drugs does not surprise me 
because the amount of PEDs he was doing was just astronomical, uh, which means that he was inevitably going to lose uh, a lot of weights and, and you know, things of, of that nature. But granted, satellite cells do exist. So if you were on performance acid drugs, it is harder for you to, it, it's not as damning as people think where he's going to lose all his muscle. As long as he continues to work out, as long as he continues to put in the work, he's still going to maintain an impressive amount of muscle, uh, albeit it won't be as you know, as consistently large as it was before, but it will be an impressive amount, definitely above average because of satellite cells. So it doesn't really matter if you get off of it, you'll still have a decent amount of body, a decent body, but he didn't even want that. He wanted all of his body back plus the strength that came with the PEDs. He's only, he said he's only on like two things now, but I, I definitely can see him being on, all of them back onto all of them very soon, if not already doing it. Um, the whole liver King situation is basically the, one of the biggest cautionary tales in fitness because you have to, there is a line that you have to balance, right? He is talking about things that mental psychological problems that he had when he was younger and how it drove him to do certain things. But those stories resonate with other people who are going through this. And for you to equate what went, what happened with you to what will happen or what's happening with them and how you could feel that you can save them through these different kind of uh, bizarre way of eating and, and also if you're if you're not you know aware, you're also pushing the fact that they can also use performance enhancing drugs because of the fact that you use it because you've used it and now use it again. Now you're reinforcing that it, you have to use it so that you can feel your best. Um, I think it's a slippery slope to conflate the two things because people can definitely have you know, psychological issues where they feel depressed and they want to pull themselves out of that. But when you're connecting it, when the tissue that you're connecting it to is the things that you've done to pull yourself out of that, you're simplifying the 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 whole process for the each individual person and what what they require to pull themselves out of whatever depression uh, that they're in. So I think Talking in that way and connecting it to what he's doing and then saying, that's why I had to talk to the world and tell them. I think that is a slippery slope as well. Um, it is a cautionary tale because the where the liver king has positioned himself now is almost like in a no man's land kind of place, right? He'll be damned if he doesn't take PEDs. He'll be damned if he does take it. He'll be damned if he responds to you know, moist, critical, Greg Doucette, he'll just be damned all, all the way around, no matter what he does, right? Um, and it's all because he was secretive at first about it. Not only was he secretive, he was very um, deceiving. He said he didn't take it. What would be the reason to say that you didn't take it when you did? It is because you are trying to front about what is actually going on behind the scenes so i can't uh i can't you know shame moist critical for example for thinking that there's other shams behind the scene now he's invited moist critical to go over to his ranch to see that he's living uh the life that he says that he's living um but who's to say that he doesn't have other places that he lives at other than his ranch who's to say he doesn't have other places that he stays at i mean he the man is rich right so he could pretty much have other locations that he stays at but his ranch is where he maybe primarily films and does all the other things that may stay there for some time or whatever, like a vacation home. No, we don't know. We simply uh, don't know. But he's offered that invitation all over to Moist Critical, which I think Moist Critical will decline. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't see the 
the inherent value that he will get from going over there and seeing if uh, if all this stuff that Liver Kings talks about his ranch is is true. Uh, so that is the Liver King update. I don't think that there'll be a, another update considering that this is, he's just admitted that he's back on PEDs unless something crazy uh, happens. So until the next one, guys, this is Edward from Fledge Fitness, and we'll see you on Wednesday.